about hemiplegic gait. Hemiplegic gait actually usually happen to the people who have stroke and they will affect their half brain and then reflect to another half limb. Okay, it will be on the another side. And usually what will happen is their limb, half body limb, it will be very weak and not able to move and don't have a strong strength. So with the gait itself, it will show that at the other of the hand and internal rotation and flex of the heat, uh, the thumb and the fingers. And this is the classic posture for the hand. And also, um, their half body here is very weak, so they are not above to lean to another side of the body. And once they walk, their leg also is not able to lift up. So they would do a circumduction gait like this. Okay, instead of rise up on the same body, they tend to use another half body to uh, side flexion to bring the body out and leg out and walk. And this is how to turn. Sometimes you can see they are still able to rise their leg to another side by using their own muscle. Uh, that is possible, but it's very weak. But usually they bring use their body to. And also you will find that their half body, the muscle, it will be more uh, weak, less muscle, muscle tone. Yeah, this is for the hemiplegic gait.